What's up guys, Josh here with ATX Guitar Lessons. This is going to be a continuation of the fingerstyle uh, lessons, fingerstyle guitar lessons. So what we're going to be doing in this one is getting you set up with the right hand, um, playing a consistent pattern, but we're also going to get some not like necessarily unusual harmonies or chords but definitely something a little bit more exciting than just moving around open chords all the time and i mean there's plenty to be done with open chord stuff but we don't want to make it too complex and i know there's a ton of videos already out there talking about you know moving from c to a minor blah 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 so this is going to be something where we're staying on the same three strings and getting specific fingers on our right hand to work out, but also moving up and down the neck and getting something that sounds pretty cool, actually. I just made this up like five minutes ago. But anyways, so for the right hand, what we're going to be doing, um, if you need to review any of the uh, technical setup stuff and motion, all that, uh, go back to the fingerstyle intro video and just review how to get your hand on there, or you can use, kind of use mine as a an example to follow. Um, but the setup is going to be, excuse me, the thumb or P is going to be on string five. And my index or I is going to be on string two. And my middle finger or M is going to be on string one. That's never going to change. We're just going to, um, that's where we're going to be set up. So we don't have to worry about crossing strings and stuff. That'll be covered in other videos. Um, the ring finger or A, we're going to leave out of the equation for now because it is the most problematic. Um, it's not necessarily weaker. I mean, it'll just feel awkward when you start using it. And you want to make sure that what you have going on with the thumb, index, and middle feels pretty good, pretty strong and consistent um, before you throw that in there. Trying to tackle all four at once can be a bit daunting and feel like you're never going to get it, which is not the case. It, you know, it, It's just hard to concentrate on that much and you don't really realize how much work your hand is actually doing. Um, there's a lot of specifics, physically speaking muscle movement and whatnot. So anyways, thumb on string five, index on string two, middle on string one. So I'm gonna run through these little kind of chord positions with you, uh, just so you know where we're going. We'll kind of do it in a linear fashion. And then what I recommend is that you just experiment with it and make different sounds. And you pretty much can't go wrong. Uh, with what I'm going to give you. So no matter what order you do it in, you can try different rhythms if you're familiar with that. Um, we're going to do it a specific way now though. So anyways, I'm starting with my middle finger on string two, second fret. And I just played five, two, one right there. And then I'm going to slide my middle finger up on string two to the third fret. And finger one is going to come down on the second fret of string one. All right, then I'm going to slide this entire shape up two frets. So I'm just gonna slide, keep it on the track, um, slide them on the strings that they were already placed on. Second finger, middle finger is now on uh, string two fret five, index finger is on string one fret four. Now I'm going to slide up again. My index is going to be on the fifth fret and then I'm gonna use my third finger here. And it's gonna be on the seventh fret, second string. And then I'm gonna take that exact same shape, three and one, and I'm gonna slide both of them up two frets. So now my third finger is on uh, fret nine and my index finger is on fret seven. And then I'm going to go one step further here and we're gonna go back to our original fingering with the left hand, it's gonna be two and one. Middle finger is on the 10th fret of string two and my index finger is on the ninth fret of string one. 
So just to review that, I'm not going to call out the fret numbers again, um, but I'll call out the pattern of the fingers and show how they change. So here, finger two uh, is on string two and string one is open. And then two and one, two and one again, three and one, three and one again, and then two and one. So that's a little exercise that you can make out of it just to kind of get familiar with where your fingers are going and kind of inadvertently giving you an exercise with your left hand on what's the most efficient way to shift to stuff because you don't want to just randomly grab for things. This is always planned out whether you think it is or not and that's why it looks like it's so easy when people are doing it and they're moving fast. I mean, it's all contrived, right? So here we go. Start from the top here and go down. So that's a great exercise in and of itself. Thinking of each one of these as a chord. So getting the thumb, the index, and the middle fingers to move together. Um, because that's one of the techniques you're going to use plenty of. Now, there's many variations that we can make up here, but the one that I'm going to use is going to be thumb, index, middle, index. And that's the repeated pattern. All right, that's all this hand's going to be doing. And I'm going to go up those same chords in that same order. We'll do it slowly and then a little bit quicker. And back down. That may have been too fast, but we're gonna do a little bit quicker here. I'm not trying to frustrate you with the speed, but it's just to show you, you know, what you want to work up to. That wasn't too terribly fast, but you want that motion to feel very natural in the right hand. And um, it shouldn't, your fingers should not be getting tired. It's a very important thing to notice. If your fingers are tiring out and it feels like they're fumbling around quite a bit, and I don't mean if they're getting the wrong string, I just mean if they're starting to feel weak and you're doing this for a little bit. Um, there's something wrong with your setup. Of course, if there's any pain in either the right or left hand, I would say put the guitar down and ask somebody um, what's going on because you don't want to continue to play if you're having pain. I'll do that one more time a little bit slower, and then we're going to kind of mix it up, make a couple other little uh, practice sessions or etudes out of it, if you will. So here we go, a little bit slower. Now I'm going to move from my first shape to my third shape, back to my second, up to my fourth. So that would go like this. So just getting that left hand to move around, getting both the hands to feel comfortable. Obviously, you can do a ton of stuff with this uh, in terms of getting variations out of that. Now I'm just going to kind of noodle around with those individual shapes, not do anything else, 
and just see what I can get it to sound like just using that pattern. All right. Hopefully I won't change anything too much. Here we go. So you get the point. And another cool thing that you can do is at any given moment, lift, actually you could lift either finger, but you know, just to start off, try lifting your index finger off of string one and you can get some uh, neat little sounds too. Anyways, have fun with that, guys. Um, hopefully, it's a little bit more interesting than the other stuff you've been looking at. If you have some requests or any questions, please let me know. Please visit the site below and leave comments. Please like. See you next time. Good luck.